My oh my, what will we choose to bitch about today? We're gonna bitch about YouTube itself. YouTube, I'm gonna give it to you straight on the off chance you ever do watch this. You need to get your shit together. You probably know you need to get your shit together. I don't think I need to be the one to tell anybody that there's a serious problem with YouTube. And maybe I should put problems with an S with that because there are a bunch of things wrong with this platform. Things that have motivated me to do this video, current events that have been going on. Um, if you haven't heard, there's been this whole big thing that's been going on with uh, YouTube and their copyright system. Like, I mean, clearly everybody knows that the copyright system is broken and people abuse it to claim money from other people's videos and it's just out of control. Recently, this YouTuber, um, whose name is slipping away from me right now, I can't remember, but he had a video that had this clip of this fake road rage video where a bunch of people in costumes come out and like beat up a guy at a, at a traffic light and it's it's staged it's fake not even real and this dude got flagged when he tried to repeal it for manual review it still came back that it violated the terms of service for violence um even though it was fake video and so then shortly after that, he tweeted out that, hey, yo, YouTube, where's Markiplier's strike? Markiplier has been a very big YouTuber on the platform for a while and a pretty brand safe YouTuber at that. He tweeted out, fair is fair. Where's my strike at YouTube? They actually gave him a strike to not only his surprise, but to, I would say, Everybody's surprised on the community. I mean, who would have thought Markiplier, sweet old Markiplier, would get a strike, right? And he made a video about it, discussing that. Uh, you guys can watch that if you want. Uh, I recommend you do, so you can actually, you know, see that, what, what actually happened and all the stuff that transpired. Uh, he goes more into depth about that, clearly, because it's his story. Um, but anyways, then... The other YouTuber tweeted out that they were surprised YouTube was going to die on this hill. But then YouTube said, we're not going to die on this hill. You guys are right. We're going to take away the claims or whatever. And I guess that's what happened. But this is obviously very apparent that the this is a clear cut sign that the copyright system is broken. Okay. And another recent topic that has come up and that has put YouTube under a lot of fire is there are literal channels right now on YouTube that abuse animals. They make the videos in a way where they, they like they're rescuing the animals. Right. And that they're, um, you know, you don't see what happens before. Right. Like, like some, some shit is just pretty shady. Like, you just have yet to, to wonder, like, how the hell did those animals end up in that particular situation? And there's even some channels where it looks like they're using, they're rescuing the same animals over and over again, and it's fucking up. It's 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 fucking crazy, and it's fucked up. All right, YouTube does not take these channels down. And if you're wondering, maybe they can't. No, no, that's so fucking false. YouTube clearly has the power to take down any channel they deem violates their terms of service and if anything violates violence is not this fucking staged video it's it's this actual animal abuse this should be investigated and reported to the authorities to wherever these videos are being posted from and youtube needs to do whatever the fuck they need to do to you know do that to if if at the very least Take down the videos. Take down the channels. Like, I don't understand what's so hard about that. YouTube's always been trying to cater towards the sponsors, right? The 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 the, the companies that, that produce ads on, on YouTube, right? That's what caused the ad apocalypse. Alright, we're going on a little flashback now. 
the adpocalypse. Although not his fault, PewDiePie, I can't even remember what year it was, 2016, 2017, something like that. I think it was when the death to all Jews joke thing happened. That's when the adpocalypse happened. It caused a bunch of sponsor, a bunch of fucking companies to pull their ads from YouTube because they didn't want their ads affiliated with that until YouTube got their shit together and fixed their system in order to certain videos didn't get ads on them. And that's what created things where I don't even make money off videos anymore because you now need a requirement of a thousand subscribers with 12,000 hours per month, I think, or something. I don't even remember the numbers. It doesn't really even matter. I don't get anywhere near that anyways. And that was kind of their whole reasoning. Like people that don't get, that don't have that wouldn't really be making anything anyway. So what does it matter? And that's kind of true. But I think, you know, my whole YouTube, I've been doing this since like, I don't even know what year, like, but I've been doing it for a while. And in that time I managed to get $11. And when that, when that rule changed, I remember I got a check for $11 <laughs> and I cash, I cashed it because you know, why wouldn't I? But yeah, no, that, that was, yeah. So imagine how many, how many I could have had like maybe $14 by now. If, if the rule didn't change or something, I don't know. That's another thing that I want to get into. Why is YouTube the only place where companies can do this, where they can just be like, I'm, I'm taking this out. I'm, I'm not, I'm not putting my ads on there because it's the internet. I guarantee there's more people that watch YouTube than they watch cable TV. And maybe that's literally exactly why, because cable is fucking dying. More people are getting rid of cable in their house and just watching stream because they, all they do is watch streaming stuff and things with like a Google Chrome or like an Amazon Fire and like shit like that where you can cast to your TV. What the fuck is the point of cable? I was literally talking with Nabil the other day about this. Cable is so weird. Literally, you would have to turn on the TV and hope you, something was on that you like. like. Like imagine turning on the TV, starting to watch a movie in the middle of it. Because there, you right now is when you decided to watch TV, and that's what's happening to be playing, and you just gotta catch what's going going on, catch up. You know what? Like it, it was barbaric. It's ridiculous. We were going to and channel surfing, fucking channel surfing. That bro, and I honestly think YouTube needs to stop bending the knee to these companies and just say, all right, leave. Like, who's actually? I know YouTube gets money from these ads and stuff, but these companies make ads because they get money from it as well. So YouTube just needs to be, if you want to leave, leave, but they need to stick by the creators. And that's something that YouTube has long since forgotten. Really? This is a uh, Zwati from the future. Uh, I kind of forgot to mention some things uh, in the video. So I'm just going to do the voiceover of it now. Why does YouTube have rules and regulation that some TV shows don't even follow? Like, the swearing thing does not make any sense. Like, YouTube should at least have TV rules, right? We should be able to swear. We should be able to show some nudity. We should, like, if everything's consenting and everything is fine, I don't understand the big deal. If TV can do it, it should be able to be done on the internet. I don't understand why we're holding YouTube at a higher standard than we hold most television companies you know that's why they always go towards the more brand safe but youtube clearly just i don't even understand why they just aren't taking down these animal abuse channels and it really doesn't make sense because if there's anything to take down it's not oh man pokimane i, I pokimane bad i don't like pokimane poke oh man they, they got rid of leafy's channel all right they got rid of Leafy's channel. So if you don't think YouTube has the power to get rid of channels willy-nilly, they got rid of Leafy's channel for bullying. And that's a whole other story that we could get into with H3H3, Keemstar, and the likes. And it's it's that's so st stupid as well. But if they can get rid of Leafy's channel for shit like that, why can they not get rid of channels literally abusing animals? It makes no fucking sense, which brings me to my next point. If you're going to let shit like that slide and you're going to get rid of like leafy shit, you can't do that. You can't do that. You either get rid of the really bad shit 
especially now when it's brought to your attention. You get rid of Leafy's bullying type of videos. Or you just let it all slide. You back to the to the early days of YouTube, free for all. Everything goes pretty much you can and then th this is very probably controversial because YouTube has also been a breeding ground for like pedophiles and shit, which is another thing that which is obviously not good. You know, the, the rules that l limit that and try to get rid of that as much as possible should keep going into effect. Don't get me wrong. And that's what I'm saying. Like when it comes to enforcing these rules, really bad shit needs to be removed. But who's deciding what's really bad? Because YouTube can't watch all these videos, all these like I think Markiplier, everybody talks about this, like so much content being uploaded to YouTube at any given moment that there's no possible way that they can have everybody. They can have actual people reviewing these videos, which is why it makes it monitoring super hard. This is another reason why parents need to understand that not everything can be checked by YouTube and which is why they need to better monitor what their kids are watching. YouTube had a whole big problem a while ago and I think that's also another reason why the apocalypse happened and because parents were upset that their kids were watching these shady content with Elsa Gate and shit like that because of all this pedophile shit that was going on on YouTube. And that's why they created the kids app. So I, this is the thing. Are you letting your kids on regular unfiltered YouTube when there's a kids app. If you truly care about what your kids are watching, then why wouldn't you actually properly monitor it? That's just the thing. All these people that were complaining about it probably didn't even really care about it. They just noticed it and wanted to bitch about it to a big company or some shit like that. That's just speculation on my part. You can't just let YouTube parent your kids. All right, like the, the nowadays, like parents, all they do is, you know, they just sit them, give, give a kid, sit them with their tablet off to the races. Right. And when you do that and you just let them do whatever free for all. Come on, man. You can't you can't get mad at that. You can't get mad at that. And there's no AI that can fucking do this. OK, we don't live. <laughs> in fucking in some movie comic book type shit. OK, AI isn't like that at this point. Okay, AI, I don't I'm not really too sure on how YouTube's algorithm work, but this is what I'm assuming. It has a database of like pictures and images, videos and shit, right? That it analyzes and it knows are bad. For like, for instance, let's say um somebody like extreme violence, right? Like let's say somebody getting shot in the head. It has a it has a database of a probably a bunch of pictures or videos of people getting shot in the head and then it compares footage to those and and sees oh this kind of looks like somebody getting shot in the head let's block it or something like that right I, I, that's probably extreme simpli simplification of what i'm trying to say or probably how it works that's what i'm assuming is how it kind of works like it's just basic ai right that's kind of how like um deep fakes work right and deep fakes is probably like the peak of what ai can do right now right like or at least to the consumer level you know who knows what the fuck the government has and but shit i don't even want to go down that rabbit hole nah i don't even i don't even know what to say youtube just needs to get the, youtube needs to get their priorities straight unless they want another adpocalypse on their fucking hands even if another adpocalypse comes then i think this is when youtube needs to actually stand up for themselves and say no, fuck you. If you want to leave and lose money, you can do that. I'm sure there's other companies that are willing to be on our platform and dying to. Even if they have to, you know, I don't know how you get your ads on YouTube and what the prices are and all that. Especially for big companies, I don't know how it works like that. But what if YouTube lowered the prices for companies that are more willing to... Uh, or what if they just lower the prices to have your ads on YouTube in total for everybody due to the more controversial content that may be on there as a compensation? I mean, I don't know how rich YouTube is, but the fact that they're owned by Google, which is owned by Alphabet, and, you know, they're pretty, f I'm pretty sure they're good. <laughs> um, that might be something they should 
consider i don't really know man i'm not a business person i'm just talking about the stuff that i'm seeing transpiring and what my opinions are and what i think maybe youtube should do and taking down the bad shit and leaving up everything else is probably what everything wants to everyone wants to do and it's an extreme simplification because that's probably what they are trying to do but it ends up hurting people because they're trying to do it with ai and ai isn't good enough to actually determine what needs to be blocked and what is okay you know um i just i don't really see a good solution which means People just have to understand it's literally impossible to check it all. They're trying, like they can try their best, but when, like, you know, like to take down very serious, like, like fucking ISIS videos, like they were coming up before, right? Like shit like that. That's why the adpocalypse happened as well. They're trying their best. And so people have to understand it's very hard to monitor it. Companies that put their ads on this have to understand that, right? Like whenever people are like, oh my God, I can't believe you're putting your ads on these on these videos. Like they don't get to choose what ad, what, what videos their ads come up. Like sure, I think since YouTube, since the ad apocalypse, YouTube has added some type of thing where you can add, you can pick what type of genres you want your video. Like if you want them to be in like cooking videos, like videos labeled with like that type of genre, right? To cater towards that specific audience that's that type of like that's something that they probably provide now they need to fix something they need to fix the copyright system so that people stop abusing it creators can create and not have to worry about like two seconds of music the internet is the internet and youtube pretty much has a monopoly on video like you, there's no other place where you can create video like youtube or create and post videos on on onto like an internet onto onto a site and have people view it. Like Twitch isn't the same. Twitch is live streaming, right? There's no one that can really compete. I'm pretty sure people have tried, but no one's really been able to succeed. And I don't know if YouTube will ever he hear this. Screw it. Putting my voice out into the void. I don't think I really have anything more to say. Um, thank you guys for watching. Uh, let me know what you guys think about this whole situation and what you think YouTube should do. See you guys in the next one.